Hey everybody, and welcome to another Torb Looks At. Today, we're looking at The King is Watching. Uh, I'm going to go for the tutorial. Oh, it's a really tiny tutorial. Wonderful. Build buildings in your kingdom. Start with the sawmills. Keep track of your workers using this area. Left click to move, right click to rotate. Okay. You know, I appreciate a fast tutorial. Oh, there's meta progression. Unlocks two times game speed. Oh, that is very sinister. I hope the game isn't like slow normally. Oh, there's a second tutorial as well. It's interesting they double bag it like that. The first step in building your kingdom is gathering wood. Try placing the small mi the sawmill on a tile. Okay, it costs 50 gold pieces. I have 120. This is your gaze. You can move it around with your castle and rotate it with the mouse buttons. Once you build something, it only starts working when inside your gaze. Move it and be on your way to a mighty kingdom. All right, here we go. I'll get another woodcutter. Hopefully this doesn't damn me. Okay, no, I don't think I fucked myself. Once I get the farm going, it will produce wheat, and then with wood and wheat, I'll be able to make the market, and the market will give me gold bars. Okay, cool. Here we go. Dude, I like this music. It's funky as hell. So we're going to be building through all these at some point, I would assume. But for now, we're just waiting. Uh, I guess I'll build the market now. Here it can toggle which goods should be sold at the markets. Okay, so I guess I'll just sell wheat for gold. Okay, we can get like one of each, I suppose. Next wave in nine weeks. Okay, a little bit sinister. I think I'm gonna wanna expand my vision. Yeah, look at that. That's glorious. That costs more and more to expand the vision. I guess I'm gonna wanna set up like blocks of production. So I think it would be cool to have like a like a farm block. So wheat seems like a very important resource. Next wave in one week. Okay, uh, militia. Oh no. Uh, are they gonna go out? Okay, they've went out. Okay, one of my dudes is stronger than one of their dudes. Oh no, there's so many dudes. What the fuck? Okay, well, I have plenty of dudes. Oh, I'm, I think I'm maxed out on... Or I was maxed out on dudes. I need some wood, so I'm gonna swap configuration. Oh no, I feel like I've already fucked up my placement of everything. This is so heinous. Guess I'll go for the wheat farming for a little bit. I need to start getting wood again. Alright, plus two unit limit. Let's go. Is there like a stronger warrior? Let's see, upgrades one militia, costs 10 gold and 5 ingots. Okay. To get an ingot, I need... Forge. Which needs an iron mine. Which needs gold and wood. Gotcha. Well, I suppose I'll just 
chill out on this configuration for the time being then. Two times reduction for 10 seconds. That's pretty awesome. I think I will hit that button. Yeah, look at that. That's glorious. Okay, the gold mine also gives gold. It's pretty awesome. Arena, 30% bonus damage to your fighters while active. That's pretty cool. I think I'll go for the iron mine next. So I think that would be very useful. Wonder if I should double double it. I kind of think the answer should be yes. Yeah, why not? How glorious. It'd be nice to get a gold mine as well. Of course, it's gonna need iron bars. Alright, let's get the ore. Week 50 passed, gain one. Sparkly sparkle. Alright, well, forge, here we go. Glorious, more iron bars acquired. I think I'd want the barracks to be up here in the unit column. Oh no, are these turds clay? I think these turds are clay. Alright, I guess I'll go back to the, the first bopper over here. So I can get some gold. I'm gonna need a clay mine. Oh no. Dude, that guy's got an ass on the front of his body. That's hilarious. He's gonna totally just eviscerate my dudes. There's no question about it. Just is what it is. No, oh, never mind, we completely took him out. Ooh, this is an interesting configuration. I'd really, really, really like to get my gold production up at some point. Well, if I'm gonna want the uh, gold mine, I'm gonna need... Oh, huh, hold on. Mill grinds one wheat to one flour, and flour sells for three times as much. Interesting. Maybe I should put that down as well. I think that would increase my gold production. Well, first things first, clay pit active. Get these guys working. Oh man, that is a lot of dudes. Guys all bootied up. I think I need to hire some duders. Oh yeah, my dudes are completely dying. Crap, maybe a hospital would be nice to have. Oh, dude, shit's getting absolutely fucked. Uh, are they gonna just die when they hit my walls? No. Alright, two times reduction. Let's go. Oh, my wall's getting absolutely ruined. Okay, highly not great. I think I'm gonna get more, a higher unit limit. Just fill out my roster here. Need to start getting wood as well. I need to solve the the wheat problem or the uh, the unit problem. Think I will get a swordsman barracks. <laughs> Can see that guy doing push-ups. That's great. All right, come on, buddy. Please level up. There we go. It's gonna take all my gold, which is what it is. There we go, two swordsmen. Oh my god, they got three booty lords. That is pretty terrifying. I'm actually gonna have a third swordsman. I'm gonna go back to my normal configuration, I think. Oh yeah, they're absolutely eviscerating those guys. 
I guess I could plop the hospital here. Why not? Yeah, my swordsman's a little bit injured. Gives me like an extra bit and bob to do here while I'm waiting. How much g gold? Costs 25 clay. Okay. I'll get that real quick. I'm gonna need to switch the swordsman. You know, say like three weeks before the next wave comes. Okay, we've got the clay. Gonna need the wood now. I've already got the iron and gets. Everything else is golden. Guess you can go, uh. I could put it, uh. Over the market. Yeah, why not? That'll let me just infinitely... Oh yeah, wasn't I gonna do something? Oh well. I'm sure it'll be fine. Yep, we're completely eviscerating them. Alright, we can go back to the gold mining. Oh yeah, this is vastly superior in the market. This is wonderful. I guess what's my long-term plan? Well, I'd like to get a flower dragon. At some point. Which means I'm gonna need a windmill. So I can just put that there. I'm gonna need Many gold bars, many iron bars, many woods, much clay. All of which is super easy to get. In fact, we've already got it. Already at the top of the tech tree. How wonderful. I guess I'll just plop the sucker down. Uh, we're not gonna be able to get it in time, I think. I'm gonna power up the hospital for a little while. Times to the production as well. I'm assuming that would heal twice as much. Yeah, looks like it. I think we lost a dude, which is kind of a big deal, but it's actually not that big of a deal. We need to clear out space with the flower dragons anyways. Wait, why don't I... I need some gold, but I could expand my vision. So I think I might divert to that real quick. So I think that would be very useful. Just need a little bit more. Alright, I've got one more block going. Fantastic. Get some more wheat. So now I can get flour cooking. In fact, I can get the flour dragon. Oh, it takes absolutely forever to prepare. Unfortunate. Don't think I'll be able to get it in time. All right. I guess I'll go back to the normal production for a little bit then. Oh, I think I'm losing a lot of dudes. Okay, we're golden. I'll heal up for a little bit. Next wave is in six weeks. I think I'll be able to just barely get this dragon. If I just cook it right now. And come on. Let's go. Dragon acquired. I actually have enough flour for another one. 
Looks a little bit more like a gargoyle in my opinion. That's probably just because of its white color. I see they have also gotten their equivalent of the flower dragon. My man's roided up. He also has a front as. Dude, are you fucking joking? The dragon is already dead? Dude, powerful my ass. What the hell? Dude, that's so fucked up. Alright, well, here's another one. Please tell me I can 1v1 this fucking guy. Oh my god, dude, it's absolutely... He just fucking destroyed that dragon. That's ridiculous. My lads are just getting fucking eviscerated. This guy's so strong. What the hell? No, we're fucked. <laughs> We've hit game over. Fuck, this lad is so crazy. I was kind of assuming I'd just steamroll the game once the dragon was in play. I guess not. Well, luckily this guy is distracted attacking my walls. However, I don't think his buddies will be. Oh, it has a... Never mind. I was going to say it uh, wasn't attacking because the other guy was here. That's not true. Oh, I've gotten one more twinkle twinkle. That's pretty pocket. Alright. The man destroyed me. My people gathered 621 gold, 292 clay. I can take six golden bars and three purple bars with me. Okay. Pretty awesome. Well, that was the king is watching. At least the demo of it. It is an interesting game. I like it's sort of like dreary aesthetic. I don't know what I would call it. It's not necessarily like dark fantasy, but it sort of has that vibe. No, with your dude just like overlooking everything. Imagine it would not be a very great kingdom to live in. Yeah, what's neat? I think the the research the tech tree is a little bit short, which I assume will change in the end of the uh, or when the game actually comes out. And there is just periods where I was just like waiting around, which I mean, you know, is fine. Yeah, those are pretty much my thoughts. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you next time for more Torbs Looks At. Goodbye!